Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. After the eco styler crisis of May 2018, I had a lot of requests for affordable, safe, healthy, readily available products. So I actually, just for you guys, bit the bullet, went to Sally's and spent money just for you guys because I love my existing products and I didn't need any more products. Y'all know that, especially if you follow me on Instagram. But just for you guys, I got these products just to show you that they're out there. I'm here to kind of give you a little bit of a haul and show you what my process was for selecting them. As to how I picked these, I did it the long hand way as you guys know. I just checked a bunch of ingredients labels, checked a bunch of prices and grabbed the ones that looked best for you guys. So here we are and I'm definitely going to be trying them in upcoming videos so look out for that and let me know down below if you want to see videos of me using these products or if you use them let me know down below to help others who might be considering getting them. Clean in this case means minimal harmful ingredients. Affordable I went with a dollar per ounce or less which is pretty affordable, it's not necessarily the cheapest, cheapest, like cheapest, but it's also pretty affordable, a dollar an ounce. Most of the products that I buy typically are above that. Of course, I buy them on sale, so they're below that, but this is for those who aren't the big haul people and just want to pick up one or two items and just want them to always be at an affordable price. This is for you. But before we see the goodies, make sure you're subscribed for more great content and to support your YouTuber and appreciate all her efforts on your behalf such as going to Sally's and spend money. Okay, so on to the video. My home. So I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> First of all, I wanted to have a full wash day and I wanted to have a full twisting wash day for my twisting subscribers and a full wash and go wash day for my wash and go subscribers. Let's get into all of this. So to start off, we have the cleanser. I saw this at Sally's for $11.99 and it's 12 ounces, so it hits that dollar an ounce cutoff. And the ingredients are pretty good. So nothing objectionable. I did have this at home, so I didn't buy it again. But I saw it there, so it definitely kind of counts towards what you can find there in the price. This isn't my favorite cleanser. I know some people love it. For me and my low porosity hair, I feel like it kind of coats my hair a little bit. I'm going to try it again and let you guys know. Um, it's not stripping at all. And a little goes a long way as well. Next for a deep conditioner, I got this Pure Detox Mask from By Made Beautiful. This was $9.99 and it's 12 ounces. And the ingredients were decent. So these are the ingredients. Let's see if I can, it's kind of tiny. Did have some good stuff, you know, some sea kelp, eucalyptus. I didn't see anything in here that was too bad. You may want to give this a try. It does look like it'll be pretty moisturizing as well. I thought I would pick up the Cantu, but this had better ingredients than the Cantu, and this leaves me more hopeful than the Cantu. And now we're on to styling, so leave in. This was actually my day one leave in. I left it behind just because it has some polyquads, but polyquads really ain't gonna kill you. So, in terms of safe, I can definitely recommend this to you guys. It has lots of slip, it has great moisture, and it works well in my hair. So I'm actually maybe looking forward to giving this a little whirl again. I just kind of stopped using it because of the polyquats, which can coat low porosity hair, but it's not a big deal if you have a shampoo. And this is $7.99 for 8 ounces, so again, we're right at that dollar an ounce criteria. I mean, I might try to challenge myself and make a trip to the dollar store to see if I could see anything there. That would be cheaper, but in terms of my hair and clean, so far the dollar an ounce seems to be a fair challenge but a doable challenge. In terms of stylus, I kind of couldn't decide in a way, so I have like three. First of all, I have this Eden All Natural Curly Fining Cream, which I really like for my twist outs. This is the first product I ever used for my twist outs. It's literally the first product because I still haven't finished it. <laughs> Although this is definitely the last use of it. So I didn't buy it again because I have it. But this is a definitely a great product. Your hair just feels soft and moisturized. And even though it has no whole ingredients, my hair does last a couple of days. I, it doesn't last a whole week, but my hair is so soft and so moisturized and has great definition for a few days. So I do love this as well. This is $7.99 for 16 ounces, so you really can't go wrong. It's like 50 cents an ounce, so yay for that. 
and the ingredients are nice. Check out these ingredients. Of course, like I said, I was trying to stop on the polyquats, but it's not harmful, so it's something that I can definitely use and recommend for this video. I wanted to get creams with a bit of hold ingredient, and like I said, the curly finding cream didn't have any hold ingredient. So I got both of these because I just couldn't decide, I couldn't pick one. This one was $9.99 for 12 ounces, so not quite as cheap as the Eden. And the Eden works really well, so I'm not even saying cheap as an insult. Not quite as good a value as the Eden, but definitely another option. So, you know, if you don't like the Eden, then maybe you might like this one. This one has Kabama, which isn't exactly my favorite. But in the middle of a huge cream, I don't expect it to dry my hair out. And Kabama isn't unhealthy or anything. I got this natural pudding souffle, which also has Kabama, but good ingredients otherwise. So, these I'm going to use for like my twist out braid out video maybe I can do a side by side or something since I have both I don't know you tell me you tell me what you want me to do and again this is $7.99 for 16 ounces so it's great value 50 cents an ounce great value and these last a long time as you can see by the fact that I'm still getting through this one like I had this for years let's put it that way and I'm still you know I don't use it that often but I don't use much when I do this will definitely get me through my next twist, I might even have some left over, and I have a lot of hair, so. The last part of my official value styling would be this Eden Coco Shea Natural Curling Jelly. I tried this before and I liked it. My hair had no frizz. When I tell you my hair had no frizz, this really defined my curls. I don't even see any polyquats in here, so really this is a good buy. I don't even, I can't even tell you why I haven't been buying it. Um, I don't know, like, I don't even use store bought gels that much. Usually I spend the year either using my DIY gel or just trying different gels for you guys. I might even repurchase this because I do remember liking it. I used it like twice. I think maybe it had a bit of crunch but I probably didn't use oil over it. So I'm going to try it again with oil over it and see if this is just a complete win for me. In terms of the price, $7.99 for 8 fluid ounces. So in the building, another great value. And this is also, this is great for wash and goes. So that's it for my value haul and value wash day plans but I do have this little bonus which is the Miel Honey and Ginger Styling Gel so this isn't typically in the price range but it was on sale so sometimes you do get lucky and get things on sale and look for sales so with the sale it was under dollar now so I was like yeah I'm gonna buy it too and just you know show you guys if you can get lucky maybe I don't think I'll use it in the video just because it was on sale and that's not a typical price but I will use it in another review video so definitely look out for that so this is my Sally's and we're about to go in. See you inside. Hoping to find something usable. I know there are some stuff, but don't know about the butter. Definitely kinda not kinda above the price range. The meal is a bit above my price range. The meal is almost there, but it's not on sale. Almost there, not on sale. The Cantu, I believe the Cantu DC isn't too bad, but I don't even see it here. I think I have one at home. The proclaim was crap um, in terms of ingredients. Thank you. And I think the same with the silk elements. Yeah, those two at the bottom are nose for me. Above my price range. This urban hydration. Let's see what you got in here. I saw the MDT, the MDM, nope. Yeah, $3.99. Nope. Nope. Oh, they do have the Cantu DC. So I can take a look. WT actually has the benzoyl benzoate as high, so I'm not going to get that deep conditioner. Okay. The same 
stuff, metro, whatever is all they need. And choice is above price range. Meow. It's kind of above price range, not on sale. Tails definitely above. Oh, buy one, get one 50% off. Still kind of looking too steep. As I am um, above price grade. I guess it did make the long and looks a little cheaper. Could actually buy that one. Let me see what this cleansing cream is going got going for it. It did make the llama looks cheaper than the original line. That's interesting. You can barely read it. Um, I think Lemonine is a no no. No TJN has some no no's. Talia Wadjet has some no no's. Let's see this drink, Cotton. Oh no, they got this texture idea everybody's talking about. Let's, let's see. Seems okay. So this might be a go. This might be a go. Right now it is under a dollar an ounce. This is 12 ounce. So I might get this. This one is in new with the butyl, phenyl, methyl, propanyl. I think texture. I think all of them, all the texture ID products have that. So I'm going to leave that alone. Pure oils. There's no pure oils at all. It's like pure oils plus crap because I see they have like urea and stuff in there. So, FYI, can't go by the names. So this is actually okay, but price range, I guess. Yeah. It's natural. This just for once they're not blocking the ingredients. Actually, it's not bad. Hello, I think I'll be trying it. Um, yeah. I'm going to try it. Are you in the price range? Please be in the price range. What is that? $24. No, you couldn't be talking about this. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll be putting this back. This stuff is expensive for my reason. The DC, I guess, is okay, but it didn't do anything for me, to be honest. So I'm going to skip this one. Same thing with the co wash. Well, benzene alcohol is my favorite, but if it's like last, I'm, you know, I would give it a pass, but also it doesn't really have a cleanser, cleansing agent, so I'm going to skip it. Plus, it didn't do much for me. So here we are, all ready for my dollar an ounce wash day, I guess, coming up. <laughs> so that's it, my clean, affordable Sally's haul, just for you guys, and I guess look out for the upcoming videos, um, showing you how they work in my hair. So lots of product reviews coming up. I have so many products, so many products I have not tried yet coming up. So definitely stay tuned and definitely subscribe for more. See you soon. Bye.